son of an eye and ear specialist and his mother um, was the person who um, used the pen name Speranza um, in contributing quite a lot of articles to the newspaper The Nation. She was um, pretty much uh, a converted um, Irish nationalist and uh, contributed quite a lot to um, the Nation newspaper on Irish nationalism. Now, in 1874, Oscar joined uh, Trinity University, or Trinity College, if you like to call it, and um, he only lasted two years now, because um, people are quite surprised. A lot of people think he got his full education from Trinity College, but he didn't. After two years, he was called into the office by the professor and he was then offered a scholarship to Oxford University and then he went on to Oxford and um, upon his graduation at Oxford University he decided that he was going to go off and lecture on art and the aesthetics. So off he went to America and um, upon arrival in New York um, he was asked by the customs officer if he had anything to declare and Oscar Wilde answered, only my genius. Only my genius. He was very famous for his wit and personality, um, quite famous also for his love affair with Lord Alfred Douglas, for which he was imprisoned for two years in England. And during his uh, time in prison, he wrote the very long poem, which was called The Ballad of Reading Gale. And that was his prison experience. Um, his first real success was The Happy Prince and Other Tales, which dates from 1888. And uh, this was a collection of fairy tales with a satirical edge to it. He was also famous for his novel, The uh, Picture of Dorian Gray. And Dorian, The Picture of Dorian Gray was the novel that shocked the Victorian society um, because they found it to be very immoral. And um, Wilde, Oscar Wilde was not only wild, but also quite immoral. He was most famous as well for his comedies, uh, such as A Woman of No Importance, um, it, dating from 1893, and An Ideal Husband in 1895. But most of all, his most famous playwright was The Importance of Being Earnest. Timble Bar is a very lively part of town with lots of friendly people to share a pint. Come by tram, come by bike, come by car. You can even walk through Dublin. It's a great walking city for lots of culture and history. Five a day, I'm right, every seven fifty. Right in the center of town is a fresh market where I found the best fresh fruits, vegetables, meats, and fish. They were so fresh, it made my mouth water. The flowers are so magnificent in color. There were several evenings with traditional entertainment of singers and dancers.
Wow, Ireland was an unbelievable experience. The countryside is so green and refreshing. I loved it. I hope I was able to whet your appetite to get up, get out, and travel. Until next week, I'm John Higgins, the Globetrotter. Hope to see you then. So long for now.